Hi, this is Larry Jordan. Are you feeling frustrated? Well, here's an answer to another Final Cut Pro question. In Final Cut 6, we captured our 1080i HDV to Apple ProRes 4 to 2. What is this process under Final Cut Pro 10? Well, I'm glad you asked, because I have a special setup that I got together just for you. By the way, I have to tell you about this one utility. It's called Event Manager 10. It's published by uh, Intelligent Assistance, and it solves the problem of managing your media inside Final Cut 10. You know how Final Cut 10 has all of your events always online all the time, and all your projects always online all the time? Well, Event Manager 10 does the process. The, the, you can move them in and out using the finder and dragging folders around, but Event Manager 10 does such a much more elegant job. The cool thing is this is a list of all of the events, that's the media folders, that are on all of my hard drives. I've got three hard drives attached. And then down here, I have all these projects. These are all the different projects that I've used to be able to create the illustrations in my book, as well as to do the training that I do. I mean, there's dozens of them. I don't want to have all these open at one time. What I'm able to do is I'm able to select, just with a checkbox, the project that I want to have open or not open. I can turn on a project or turn off a project, and then when I'm done deciding what projects and what events I want to work with, I just say, reopen Final Cut 10, and I click this button. It automatically moves the projects in and out, makes them available to me, and hides the rest, and then starts Final Cut 10. This just makes my life so much easier. And uh, the guys over at Intelligent Assistance that put it together, intelligentassistance.com, I keep writing them and say, would you please add this feature? And they, they send me another version and say, here, your feature's in. Take a look at it. All right. The question is, how do we capture HDV footage? The way that we capture from HDV or DV cameras is exactly the same. Assuming that you don't have a Blackmagic card or an AJA card or a Matrox box and you're capturing from non-Firewire connected devices, because I'm not going to be able to talk about that today, but assuming you're capturing from a Firewire device like a DV deck or an HDV deck, you click this icon which is Capture from Camera. When you click the Capture from Camera button, the Camera Import window opens up. You can see it say right here. I've got a deck connected, but it's exactly the same if I had a camera attached via FireWire. So what you do in this window is you select what your camera is going to be. Unlike Final Cut 7, where we're able to set time code start and time code end, in Final Cut 10, all tape capture from a FireWire device is done using Capture Now. Capture Now means that, for instance, if on the deck I hit the, space bar, I hit the play button or the space bar here, notice that I'm now playing the video, there's the time code of where I'm playing, and I'm able to watch the tape. This, by the way, is footage from Standard Films up at uh, Lake Tahoe, Nevada, and I'm grateful to them for letting me share some of this footage with you. Now, this is a death-defying stunt of a mad fool jumping off the edge of a cliff on a snowboard. This is the reason that I am not 20 anymore. Anyway, JKL keys work, the letter J goes backwards. K stops, the letter L goes forwards. If I want to go slow motion back, K and J at the same time, and slow motion forward, K and L at the same time. So I'm able to navigate to wherever I want to go on the camera. Now, again, you don't set ins. We're just simply doing a capture now. When you're ready to capture from the camera, you click the import button. It'll then start playing the camera or playing the tape deck. You'll need to capture from a device that has time code with it, so you're not able to capture from an EyeSight camera. Well, you can capture from an EyeSight camera, but you can't capture live. You've got to sort of record it first. So the way that you capture HDV or DV is you connect your deck, you go to the camera import button, use essentially using the same technique that you use with uh, Capture Now inside Final Cut 10. My name is Larry Jordan. For more training, both written and video, visit larryjordan.biz/store today. And thanks for watching.